there and welcome to this Absolute Radio Studio tutorial. In this tutorial we will be talking about how to make the things you see over here. We have a text input field so the user can text or type something here. He types a uh, bucket. And then there's a button below that's called show and when it's clicked I see I click it now. There will be a message box in the middle of the screen that says bucket. Alright, so that's what we're going to make. Let's first start with making the text field, then the button, and then the alert. Okay, the text field. So before we start doing anything, we need to create a window. So let's just do that. Uh, with the background color white. So we say our window equals gi ui create window with the background color of being white. And then we of course need to open the window, say window.open. Then we need to create the text field. We say var text field equals di.ui.create text field and then we can specify some properties here but we're not going to put any yet we're just going to see how it looks when we add it to the window text field here save it and go to the emulator see what's going on what we see here is nothing really what happens if we start typing here Okay, so let's try to make the background color of, of the text field something so we can see what's going on. Background color, let's try gray. Alright, so we see that there's actually something we can type in here. Okay, so it's a bit weird that it's small and we can't really see the text in the, uh, in the beginning. So let's specify a width so it's fixed. So we say width equals 200. I just see it gets a fixed width now. We can type in it. Okay, we want it to be positioned a little bit above the center of the screen. And as you might remember from the previous video, we need to set the top property here. We set it to something like 50. Then it gets placed in the top here. We can start texting. Alright, that was the text field. You can of course modify it by saying text color or font color uh, and things like that, but we're not going to do that yet. Uh, not at least in this video. We, g we will be covering fonts later and such. Right, so now the, the button. So you save our button equals ti.ui.create button. The text displayed in the bottle is named by the title property and we want the button to display the text called show. We also want the window to add the button. There we go. So you see we get a button called show here. It's a really, really ugly one. <laughs> uh, but that's okay. So when I, when I write something here, write something, and click show, then it needs to display a message. And um, to to Make the app react on things users does. You need to create what's called events, and you do that by saying button dot add event listener right here. It has two properties, uh, two arguments. I mean, the first one is the name of the event, which is a click event. You can see a list of events if you go to the API reference and go to the uh, the button reference you can see the list of all the available events also for other things such as text field you can make the app do something when the text field text is changed but in this case we just want to do something when the button is clicked and uh, you specify in the first document which which event you want to listen to and afterwards you uh, you place a function with an e as argument uh, this often contains data such as where did we touch the screen or what have changed or for example e.sender is a reference to the button itself. We don't need it now but it could be useful later. Alright, so we need to alert something 
and it's actually really 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 simple to do the only thing that you need to do is to say alert and then put in here what you want to alert you can just try something by default let's say hello there is this working or oh, let's say this is working that's funny this is working let's save it go to the app and when you click show say hello there this is working great and we just instead of putting this text we need to put the text of the text field which is text field dot value that's the text of the text field so you see when we write something here let's say hello there uh, and then click show it will say hello there in an alert that is really really simple and really really useful because you've not learned how you can read what the user writes in text fields so thank you so much for watching and if you like this video be sure to uh, leave a comment either subscribe or or like the video because if you do that then I know that this video is great I need to do it more like I did in this video alright thank you so much for watching I hope to see you again in the next episode bye bye